the powers that be decided to kill off the narrator we had picked for this show. So the job now falls on to me. Thanks a lot. Millions of years into the future, people are studying 19th century and 20th century English. And since they are killing off the original girl too? I have to take over. Great. Hey, it says here that Billy the Kid lived to be 298 years old. That does not seem plausible. Right. That's because his age is given in dog years. What are dog years? We owe the notion of dog years to Albert Einstein. I thought he was the guy who said E equals Mc2. Yes, he did say E equals Mc2. However, he also came up with the notion of dog years. How did he do that? One sunny afternoon, he decided to sit under a dogwood tree. That sounds nice. However, a hunter who was nearby decided to hunt and shot at a target he saw into the branches of the tree. What happened? He hit a dog that was in the dogwood tree, and the dead dog fell on Einstein's head. Was Einstein okay? He was unhappy, but otherwise unharmed. However, that's what gave him the idea of counting in dog years. What breed of dog was it? It was an Oxford lecturer. A what now? Do you remember the lesson on dogs and archaeologists? Oh yeah, ah, uh, that makes sense then. So we can call dog years archaeologist years, right? Right. I'd give you tenure right now if you were a dog, but I only have an archaeologist bone to give you. Ah, uh, I'm flattered. This specific bone was Howard Carter's tibia. Wait until I tell the rest of the class. Next week, we're going to learn about the creation of the atomic bomb. I can't wait. As you may have guessed, the atomic bomb was created when Robert Oppenheimer sat under an atomic bomb tree and a bomb fell on his head. I can't wait until the next lesson.